Put your video on. Awesome. I'm looking. Low, lower left, video. I don't think so. I don't know. Hi, Ricky. Did you get it? No. On the top, right hand corner, video. I can't find the glasses. I got it. And God, Belinda. I'm sorry, you should have left it the other way. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. Councillor Powers, we are live. Um, so whenever you're ready to start the meeting. I'm ready. Uh, let's start the meeting with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States, United States of America, 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 to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, the audience at home. Uh, to those uh, watching, this is going to be the uh, Ways and Means Subcommittee meeting of June 29th, uh, 2020, to uh, finalize uh, the budget. Uh, the budget was submitted by the mayor, and the we had we've had I think f at least four, maybe five meetings to go over that budget, and. Uh, make re recommendations for any cuts, anything that we felt were uh, not appropriate for the uh, ratepayers in this city. Uh, so uh, I'm going to open the meeting. I'm going to have uh, uh, Ashley Mellon, like our city clerk, call the roll of the members and also of the, uh, the uh, councilors that are non-members of the Ways and Means Committee, but uh, are here. Uh, I also want to uh, say that uh, any uh, any public, any general public, residents of the city that want to speak after the city council is finished, uh, they can make, before the vote, they can make suggestions or uh, uh, so, so forth. But uh, let's start with the city council and uh, let's call the role of the members, at, uh, Ashley, and then we'll go from there. Sure. Roll call of the members of the Ways and Means Subcommittee, Councilor Janino. Here. <clears throat> Here, Councilor McKenna. Absent, Councillor Morbido. Here. Here, Councillor Visconti. Here. Here, Councillor Zambudo. Coming in now. Tony. Councillor, Zamb Councillor Zambudo is here. Yep. I'm Council sorry. Councillor President Keefe. I'm here. We're here. having some technical difficulties, but we're we're good now. Council President Keefe is here, yep. and Chairman Powers. Yeah. Here, quorum is present. Okay, uh, we we can uh, we can do this uh, by item if we if we choose. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, if may I have a um, pardon me. Uh, may I have a, a moment? Pardon me. I I would like to, to you to the rest of the. Council uh, subcommittee members. Uh, I have some corrections. Uh, over the weekend, it, uh, since Friday, it gave me the opportunity to review the, uh, the uh, budget even more and get additional information um, that I didn't have on Friday. So, uh, which led to some corrections and um, some uh, amendments to the um, cuts that I proposed on Friday. So with that being said, I'd like to address those cuts first and we can go through line item by line item that we went through. However you want to do that is fine by me. That, that's fine, but I, you know, I'll, I'll caution everyone. We only have like, I understand 30 minutes. To I do. understand this will be quick. 
So if we can start off, uh, if, if, you, if the rest of the subcommittee doesn't mind, we can um, begin by looking at the line items um, on the um, spreadsheet um, that I believe everyone has. Uh, I'm not sure if they do or do not. I think Ashley uh, sent that over. Uh, or um, I have it. I have it. If you did or not. Excuse me. I have it. I can tell you okay. that. So if 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 we could, okay, um, if we could begin by department number 125, human resources, the HR director, um, the 9,000. I would like to remove from the, the, the cut, that being because it is a signed contract agreement between the REC uh, 9-1-1 and that, and I'd rather not, um, and it's above and beyond the 39 hours from what I'm told. So I uh, have no problem removing that based on the fact that there is a signed agreement on that. So that is removed. Madam Clerk, we, I think we should take a vote on these. Can we take, yes. Can we do them individually as we go? Go through. Yep. Okay, so that's that wasn't a cut. So there's that. The HR part time salaries is a reduction of seventeen thousand dollars. Call the roll, Madam Clerk. Yes, Chairman. Roll call of the committee members: Councillor Janino. Yes. Yes, Councillor McKenna. Your volume's off, Counselor. Oh. She's okay now. Joanne. No, but she doesn't have any volume. Oh. Can you repeat what we're voting on? You said this was 17,000? Sure. So I'll, I'll, you want me to do the roll call? I mean, sorry, the, um, the vote again. So this was Department 125, Human Resources, page 2-13, part-time salaries, a reduction in the amount of $17,000. Correct. I thought those were taken, being subtracted from the original cuts that Council Visconti proposed. No. That's what he just said. There would be no, no, that's my understanding. So why, so we're voting on votes. We're voting on cuts from cuts we didn't even appropriate yet. Is that correct? No, we're, that voting, makes we're, we're voting on cuts. That was, he just, uh, he, the H&R director. That wasn't a. He just recanted that. The HR $9,000. Was staying. Was was reinstated because of the fact okay, that so there is, city that clerk there. wouldn't it be wiser to have Councilor Visconti list the items that are going to be subtracted from his original deductions and then vote on that amount? Well, we're going to vote after each item. You're not. That's not making sense. That's not logical. What do you Chairman, mean it's not making sense. There was no Did cuts you? that were voted on Friday. Correct. But you, he's not. He's not submitting you're against right it. now. He is not submitting cuts right now. So why are we going to vote on a non-cut item? Yes, he is. I am so submitting. We're cutting $9,000 right now. So that's, oh, no. that's what I'm saying. Why are we going to cut on a non-cut item? We're not. We're not. We have information. We're on the next item. We're not. We're on we're item on number two. Next. We're on yeah, item 17000 Yes. Oh, correct. We're on 17000 So... Are we doing a roll call? Uh, how I was it? in the middle of a roll call. I'm sorry. Would you like me to continue, Chairman? Please. Okay. Hey, so point again, of information. Is... So that $17,000 is the ability, those part-timers that are currently on furloughed, the reason they're furloughed is because they remain with health insurance. So this $17,000 allows the city to bring them back from furlough. So once we cut this, that means those part-time workers can no longer come back from furlough. Just We're talking about the uh, 311 department. Who was on furlough there? No one. On 
No one's on the it's, Give me one second. We'll vote on the 1709 tomb. Okay, so we're voting on the 17. We're, we're on, okay, so we're on the 1709 tomb. 1709 tomb. Yes or no vote? Okay. No, the 1709 tomb is, is, is the chief innovation officer. Okay. Right? We're, we're on, we're, we're, Madam Clerk, can you read the item that we're on so the whole council is clear? Sure, I'll read it again. Um, so the cut that was offered by Councillor Visconti, 125, Human Resources, page 2-13, part-time salaries, requesting a reduction in the amount of $17,000. The, the yes, the request for that part-time is $25,000. That line item is $25,000 in the existing budget. Okay. Previous year's budget was two thousand dollars. Reset my phone. The 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 request is for seventeen thousand. If any other council would like to reduce it or increase it, they are more than capable of doing that as well, or whatever they like to do. My suggestion was the seventeen thousand. If people do not agree with that, then and they want to increase that amount, they can do that. My cut is seventeen thousand dollars. I'd like a roll call on that if that's it's at all possible. Clarification. One question I have. That's on the Office of Innovation and Data Management, Chief and Innovative Officer. Am I right? No. 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 Human no. Resources, page 2 13. Yeah. Part time okay. salaries. Are we in the middle of a roll call here? Yes. Can we continue the roll call, please? Continue the roll call. Mr. Chairman, with all due respect, you know, I thought you're going to let other people talk about it or make comments. Well, we've only got 30 minutes, so. Well, is that going to shut us off? No, it's up to the uh, it's up to the uh, president if he wants to allow no, us. Some more it's time. up to you. You're the chairman. Yeah, I understand that, but I don't want to make it impossible for everyone. I you have a comment. Hold on here. What do you mean you don't want to make it possible for everyone to speak? Well, what's the purpose of it being a council if we can't speak? That's fine. I, I mean, honestly. <clears throat> Sorry, Councilor Novoselsky. No, you're, you're right, Councilor. You know, absolutely. We should have... Well, you know, we want to we're still, the call. What we're do you still want visiting. To we're still here as members of the city council, even though we're not members of the committee. We've always let other people speak, other you know, other than committee members, to make their at comments. the end of the meeting. Yes, at the Ab end of the meeting. absolutely. No, no, no. no. At the, before each vote, we should be able to comment before each vote. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. You know, our comments. Well, the, won't councilors, be the councilors can comment before each vote. I mean, we've had this budget for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, but we haven't had the cuts since Friday. We've only had it over the weekend, and I just got this list today. Not only that, we've got 20 some odd people that are going to be out of work. We, at the very least, should do the diligence re requisite of this budget, mm -hmm. considering the economic turmoil that we are in as a country. We owe that we all listen, responsibility. We, we all know the economic uh, downfall we're in. We all know about the virus. And, you know, it, let's get on with this budget. But, Mr. Chairman, with all due respect, you know, here you have tech cutting out $17,000 from a part-time uh, line item, and you had 23 employees that were laid off or furloughed. And if you cut this, they won't be able to come back to work. Correct. I don't believe that. And I don't think that's appropriate. That, that, that's not correct. What that's do you mean not it's correct? not correct? How do you know it's not correct? Where do you get that information from? I have a, I have a list of employee, part-time employees that were laid off. I was, I was told that that... And some of them will supposedly be brought back, but in order to bring them all back, some of them are from the uh, elders, elder service. This is the human kitchen. kitchen. How can you not bring them back if you're going to eliminate their money? Mr. President, may I, I mean, Ms. Mr. Chairman, may I, may I speak for a second, please? Councilman Novoselsky has the floor. Okay. Well, I, I've said my piece. You know, that's you know, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'd be against this when it comes up on the floor, because I don't want to stop anybody from coming back to work. Correct. I don't believe that's what this does. It does. I, the, I don't uh, may, the, maybe President, some of the uh, senior. May I ask a question, please? 
Go ahead, Steve. Are, are these union jobs? Are these part-time employees, union employees? I don't even think this is... I, don't I, even I just want to ask okay. just, Tony, let me get the answer. But it's please. not related to jobs. I, it's, I it's, understand. Just let me get the answer. Okay. What is the question? Are, the, are these jobs union positions? I would think probably not because I, I really believe that they're senior citizens, that that's money to hire senior citizens. So what, 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 what has happened is union employees have been laid off. Several, I believe, are terminated. The bargaining rights of those unions, having been a union representative, would supersede those seniors that are furloughed, just to let you know. So those seniors cannot come back financially until those people from the union come back first. That's the law. Now, you can argue it one way or the other, but I can tell you this much. I've been, I've been through this before. Call the roll. We all set? Call the roll. You for or against? So again, this was for Department 125-Human Resources, page 2-13, part-time salaries, re proposed reduction in the amount of $17,000. Councillor Janino. Yes. Yes, Councillor McKenna. Absent. Councillor Morabito. No. No. Councillor Powers? No. No. Councillor Visconti? Yes. Yes. Councillor Keefe? No. No, that uh, proposed reduction fails. Thank you, folks. Good job. Next item. Okay. Uh, Office of Innovation and Data Management. Chief Innovation Officer, a reduction of 17,092. Follow roll, please. Councilor Giannino. Yes. Yes, Councilor McKenna. Absent. Councilor Morbido. Yes. Yes. Councilor Visconti. Yes. Yes, Councilor Keefe. No. Councilor Zambudo. What happened to me? I got left out of both row calls. I did I don't too. Know don't feel I'm bad. sorry. I didn't have my list in front of me. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Ashley, just turn them off. Don't listen to them. <laughs> no, I apologize. We just go. Where's, can I record? Where's Councilor McKenna? I, I thought she was. Councilor Zambudo? Yes. Uh, for the previous vote? Yes. yes. The cut still fails. Yeah, but where's Councilor McKenna? I, I thought she was here. She's. She's not here. I don't. She's having volume problems. Yeah. Well, I right. think we should hold up until she's here. I want a full committee here. You don't need a full committee. Whoever. I want it. Oh, it's good. I to it. You can't have it. Well, wait a minute. I was told the other night that we had to have a full committee. Well, the, the chairman told me that we needed the uh, council powers. Point of information. She she's back. It's irrelevant. Actually, she has a right to vote because the Zoom was the issue. It wasn't her not wanting to be there. It was the communications issue. She has a right to vote. Move there. Now the council is McKenna. Oh. Councilor McKenna, can you try the app from your cell phone? Either that or just call, uh, call uh, the, the clerk. Are you the 4992? Is that the last four digits? She's
Ashley, can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. My computer is not working. So okay. I'm on my phone, which I don't want to be, but. Okay. Chairman Powers, do you want to go back to the roll call that Councilor McKenna missed due to technical difficulties? Yeah, well, the $9,000, that was the first item, and that was with Jordan. There's no cut there. Right, that that was not offered. No, okay. So the so next, next one would one be the, the 17092. If, no, uh, if I may, before you vote, since everyone's here now, just to clarify, the reason why I put the part-time salary into human resources so that we can centralize the money to for the ability to take people back if and when they're ready. So just wanted to make that clear. This, this could be used for the senior citizens too, am I correct? Um, I mean, part-time salaries, part-time salaries. So I think there's um, some leeway there. I know there's been a lot of people cut and yeah. we want to try to bring them back where we could. So we couldn't bring everyone back, but we centralized those dolls in HR so that uh, we can try to bring them back as, as needed and as Thank you, Mr. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, to Mr. Risquet, uh, uh, Risquet. So Risquet. those those dollars in the HR, that would mean the union person has a right to bump a non-union per person, number one. Well, all the, I mean, all they the have a right to return to work if you have the money. So you can't have the money for seeing is enough for enough for a union worker. No, these are part time salaries, Council. The these full are not union workers. They're still dollars. They're still dollars. No, I understand. I understand. But if we had the money for the full time, we would have put it right in the respective budget. But well, if you it, have two part time, you have one full time, right? No, no, I, I understand. I just wanted to make it clear what those dollars were before you voted. So I, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. Every collective bargaining unit has their own parameters on how people. I just want to make sure everyone knew what that money was for. Of course, of course. I'm sorry. I'm trying the, to. My computer. The future, will everybody speak? And not when address, but not all the way each other. It's getting confusing. Wouldn't be a circus without music. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was me. I'm trying to get my computer um, going on. Good not. point, Patrick. You sorry. think it goes on? All right, we're, Ashley. We're going to vote on the 17092. We're going to do an over. We're going to redo the roll call. Well, yes. Okay. Now that Councillor McKenna is back, so. 127 dash department 127 office of innovation and data management chief innovation officer reduction in the amount of 17,092 councilor Janino. Yes. Yes. Councilor McKenna. Yes. Yes. Councilor Morabito. He's muted. I'm going to text it in. Yes. Councilor Morbido voting yes. Councilor Visconti? Yes. Councilor Zambudo? Yes. Yes. Councilor Keith? No. No. And Chairman Powers? Yes. Yes. That cut received a favorable recommendation. Office of Innovation and Data Management, Director of 311. Uh, a reduction of five thousand dollars. Call the roll, please. Can I just make a quick statement? This position right here, as you know, in the couple of years, it's taken quite a while for us to promote and make three one one take off. Um, the manager for this position not only is dealing with an increased amount of calls, especially with the pandemic that has arrived, but possibly a second surge. He acts as a liaison for all the ward counselors and constantly has to have his ears to the ground and to his staff knowing what's going on and be a liaison to the ward counselors and to um, every department head. So he has to work as an intermediary. So uh, this is something to take uh, into account as well. Madam Clerk, call the roll, please. Roll call on that proposed cut. Councilor Giannino? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Councilor McKenna?
Yes. Councilor McKenna voting yes. Councilor Morabito? No. No. Councilor Visconti? Yes. Yes. Councilor Zambudo? Yes. Yes. And Council President Keith? No. No. And Chairman Powers? No. No. This cut receives a favorable recommendation. Office of Innovation and Data Management Assistant to Director. <clears throat> Production is 65, 6,574. Mr. Chairman, Councilor Novoselsky wants to speak. Councilor. Thank you, sir. Uh, Councilor, on these cuts, uh, it looks like he's cutting out education incentive and also- No, the, uh, I'm not. No. I am not. Well, that wasn't Absolutely. explained. It's, I'm looking at it here. It says it's a cut. No. You're not doing that? What about the uh, other, that's, the $5,000 other? That's a statement. Yeah. And that's the other, that, yeah. Is that, is that being cut? Apparently, yeah. The, the, yeah. the total reduction is 6574 Councilor. Can anybody hear me now? I yeah. can hear you. So you're, cut, you're cutting out the $5,000 also. The sixty-five seventy-four from the bottom from the from the line item. Council, where did those numbers come from? Yeah, where's that number coming? I'm trying, Chester. The only thing extra I see in here is five thousand dollars. Right, and that's and that's for a program that we want to do a GIS system. And I think we'd have to pay another twenty thousand dollars if we had to hire a private company to do it. Okay. So wasn't you know, that I'm, wasn't that just voted on? No, 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 no. 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 My, my, recommend, my recommendation Direct, uh, is that they, they keep the $5,000 other or the stipend. I know the council, the council of Visconti passed on a stipend out of DPW the other day. So I would think it'd be only uh, the right thing to do is be consistent and, and allow this uh, stipend, this $5,000. Well, I think it's the worthwhile. Yeah. We, with well services provides. May, <coughs> we also, uh, if, if any other counselor, if I may, Mr. Chair, if any other counselor would make, would like to make um, an adjustment to that, meaning if you don't agree with that dollar number and would like to reduce, uh, re instead of 5,000, you want to make a cut of 2,500, uh, whatever is is the um, the will of the committee, as far as I'm concerned. These are my cuts. If somebody wants to bring something else up, then you know what? That's that's their prerogative. This You're is right. my cut. If you want to vote on that, we will vote on this cut and see if it passes, and so forth and so on. Thank you for the clarity. You're welcome, Pat. Council. Call roll, man. Council President. <laughs> on the proposed reduction, the amount of $6,574, assistant to the director, Office of Innovation and Data Management, page 2-19, Councilor oh. Janino. Yes. Yes, Councilor McKenna. I'll make a recommend. It's too late. You're in roll call. We're in a roll call. I know, I know. Yeah, uh, if you're having technical difficulties, uh, same thing applies. That's fine. Hey, Joanne, do thumbs up or thumbs down. There you go. Council McKenna voting yes. Council Morabito. Is this a union position, Group 11? I don't know. I'm not. Because that's so, the information I got that this is a union position, Group 11 slash. Just, so, just so currently, right now, uh, the assistant to the director is that title is not in the union um, contract right now. It would have to get added into that union contract as of 2000, fiscal year 2021. Um, so are they right. already in negotiation with them in talks? Well, I, I, I believe if if it is in, and I don't, I'm not in those negotiations, so I, I can't speak for that. But uh, typically, and I don't, I'm not certain. But if okay. if that's something between the union and the uh, 
uh, the administration or the human resources. Uh, well, if there is conversation going on, and I don't want to go on a what if basis, so I, my vote is no. I would not want to jeopardize any conversations going on between the mayor and any union position. I'm just. I'm, they can I'm always do a, uh, <clears throat> Mr. President. I mean, Mr. Chairman, may I speak? Certainly, go ahead. They can always <clears throat> do a side. You know, with anything like that, they can always do a side letter, whether it's in negotiations or afterwards. I mean, th these things are very simply solved with labor disputes. I mean, it's a very simple thing to do. Can I offer a point of inquiry? Go ahead. Your point, Can you please let the counselors speak before we start a roll call? Because this is getting very distracting. We're in the middle of a roll call. You want so, to speak on every item? When, yes. When, listen, just, I, I, I don't care. Anybody doing. wants to speak, that's their right. I just want them to speak before we get into a roll call. That's all. No Nobody speak. Thank you. All right, we're in the middle of the roll call right now. Are we? I know that's what I was. That was my point, uh, Council. This, this was Council Morabito. This was in a reduction of, in the amount of six thousand five seventy four assistant to the director. I have Councilor Janito voting yes. Councilor McKenna voting yes. Councilor Morabito. No. No. Councilor Visconti. Yes. Yes. Councilor Zambudo. Yes. Yes. Council President Keefe. No. No. Chairman Powers. No. No, this cut receives a favorable recommendation. Item 127, Office of Innovation Data Management, the overtime, uh, a reduction of 23449. Mr. Chairman, Council Novoselsky requests. Sure, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, 311 has been very active over the last three months and we, we've, we, the mayor has expanded the hours of operation so the citizens can get services beyond the normal nine to five, as you want to call it. And uh, I think uh, this number should be more than 10,000. Uh, I know I'm not a member of the committee, but I would like to make an offer uh, to um, increase by $5,000 that the new number be uh, $15,000. What was the proje original projected cut, 2023? 23, 4, 4, 9. If, uh, if I may. I want to make it 18, 18, 4, 4, 9. If I may, Mr. Chair, yes, uh, the, the, the uh, council president, the original uh, request was for $33,000. <clears throat> The last year's budget had a $3,000 line item on it. And, 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 and I, I am, I am uh, uh, Councilor Novoselsky makes a, a valid point. And if somebody- uh, I think that's a good point. I agree with that. To, it's good to, to make that adjustment. Uh, I, am, I am okay with that. I'll go with it. Me too. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Can you, you have to do a roll call on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct, uh, Ashley. So what's going to be the total total amount being reduced from the overtime line item? 18449. Eight. So the roll on the roll call, Department 127, Office of Innovation and Data Management, overtime. A reduction in the amount of 18,449. Councilor Janino. Yes. Yes. Councilor McKenna. Yes. Yes. Councilor Morabito. Yes. Yes. Councilor Visconti. Yes. Yes. Councilor Zambudo. Yes. Yes. Council President Keefe. Yes. Yes. And Chairman Powers. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> that received that cut received a favorable recommendation. Line item 135, CFO Auditing Assistant Budget Director, a reduction of $3,000. $3,000 even? Yes. Um, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Mr. President. I just, uh, I just had a question, and, <clears throat> and the reason this is where, um, obviously, I, I respect uh, the suggestions 100%. 
but I, you know, this is, um, it looks like it's a, it's a new position again. Um, and I feel like this is a much, it's an added responsibility, correct? So it's an upgraded position from an analyst to a director. So I just want, I mean, that's where I, I kind of, I, you know, that's where I've been against, and I'm not saying that, you know, I, you have ever suggest it and I respect it. And of course we have a right to debate, but, uh, I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew that that's a, it, in essence, it's a promotion to a position that would have been, that would be filled. So it's being filled with the promotion of someone in turn. Chairman? Yep. Take your point, sir. Um, this is no different than a uh, position that George uh, Anzoni had held before. It's just a change of the name, CFO. Um, I think Mr. The, the, the person, uh, that's there is probably the best person in the state. No, yeah. this, this is, is actually, this, this is, is for else. the assistant. Oh, the assistant, uh, my apologies. The assistant, I'm sorry. I, not that I argue about your comment about Mr. Biscay by any stretch of the United States. Go on, go on, please. <laughs> <laughs> I would not. I, got your compromise. I, I was telling them when, well. You got anyway. your compromise. I would not be in favor if it was for him. Uh, yep. Can I just. <laughs> No, I, I, all kidding aside. I, actually, he was my he was my choice when I ran for mayor. I was going to beg him to come to Revere. <laughs> Isn't that right, Rick? You were ahead of the curve, Councilor, no doubt. <laughs> can I like just, a broken can, watch. Can I just get clarification on the three thousand dollar cut on that for uh, for my own benefit since it's my budget? Coming out of the base salary. I don't. I don't know. I'm. That's what I'm asking. Yes, you can. Ha you have permission. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so whoever can answer that, why? Why it? Uh, I appreciate the uh, consideration to reduce. I'm just trying to understand where the three thousand dollars fits in. The Yes. Where's that three thousand coming out of? The the the. I I, I picked it out of the air. Uh, no, I'm I'm only kidding. Um, that is, uh, uh, I, I think it's, it's a reduction of the fact that we, um, local comps, a percentage increase, huh? Local comps and percentage increase. That's yes. the way I look at it. Sorry. Well, it's a $12,000. Whatever. Um, yes. it's, 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 it's an approximate, um, if, if that's the answer, that's fine. I just, um, I just want to again uh, uh, remind the council that it, it's uh, a position that I find very valuable. The person in that position is is uh, is, is tremendous at her job, and um, I have deferred any compensation for myself in order to try to help those in my office to allow me to do the best job I could. So I would really like you to consider um, keeping the salary there. Um, it's at. Thank you. So, Mr. Chairman, that that three thousand will come out of her base salary, down to seventy one, uh, seventy six six. I mean, uh, seventy eight six. Yeah. Is that All correct, right. uh, Richie? Yeah. I mean, uh, Jerry. That would uh, come out of the the base. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Yes. What is the new total? Can you? I don't. I don't seem to have the new total in front of me. Minus the uh, three thousand dollars, be eighty, eighty-five, eighty-five. Sorry, Joanne, mute your phone. I'm sorry, Joanne, mute your phone. Okay. I kind of like the sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. It, was that number to go down to eighty-five seven twenty? Is that correct? Something to that effect. <laughs> That's what I got. You guys awake? Hello. 
What? Does anybody else can speak? Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I? Does anybody have a uh, um, uh, a request to in in response to uh, Mr. Viscay? If they don't want to remove it, they have that option as well. Right. And 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 I'm just putting that out there as well. So you know, to uh, to credit Mr. Viscay's comment. Is it three thousand dollars increase? No, it's no. a cut. It's a three thousand dollars cut. cut. It's a, it, it was a much bigger cut. Yes, right. It's it's uh, it was part it was of a, it was a substant yeah it was a quite a bit of a bigger cut. The fact that uh, Mr. Viscay foregoed his uh, his own salary as uh, as a courtesy to that position um, speaks volumes on his behalf. So um, uh, that is, um, and the fact that he wears, uh, he's going to wear uh, many hats uh, in, uh, in the city. So that gives him the uh, uh, ability to rely on um, somebody in that department and, and way, um, way sh uh, heavy responsibilities to that particular person. So that that was the thought process in going in on that on that behalf. And if anybody has any other uh, recommendations, that's fine as well. I would just like to make one comment, uh, Mr. Chairman, if that's possible. Go ahead, state your comment. Thank you. Um, you know, with many of these positions that we're, we're cutting, manipulating, and so forth, I, I would hope that uh, the council, when better economic times come, that we would revisit some of some of these people <clears throat> and uh, look favorably on possibly appropriating uh, in the future if, if we're able to do it, um, provided that we have those people that were laid off returned. So I, I just want people to realize that, you know, this way it's heavy on everybody. And it's, it's not just uh, a willy nilly situation. Thank you. Madam Clerk. I call the roll. Council Powers. Answer. Pardon me. Councilor Janino has her hand raised. Just a quick question. My Wi-Fi cut out, so I lost the whole meeting for a few minutes. Did I miss any roll calls? No. 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 Okay. So are we on a roll call for this cut, or where are we? I have not been asked to take a roll call yet. Call the roll, please. Roll call on the proposed budget cut, the amount of $3,000 from the assistant budget director's line item. Councillor Janino. No. No. Councillor McKenna. No. No. Councillor Morbido. No. No. Councillor Visconti. Yes. Yes. Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes. Council President Keefe. No. No, Chairman Powers. No. No, this proposed cut fails. Thank you. Line item 140. Um, information technology overtime. That line item um, is a reduction of $7,500. Mr. Chairman, Council Novoselsky, wish and speak. Council Novoselsky. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, I know um, IT was zero last year, but a lot's been happening. We've increased a lot of uh, programming going on with our computers. So I would uh, just uh, recommend that uh, we increase that to $10,000 for the uh, new amounts rather than uh, only 7,500. Reduce it by 5,000. Call the roll, please. I'll let well, others Mr. 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 Chair, <laughs> do you want, Mr. Mr. Chair, to you, to uh, Councilor Novoselsky, um, you're looking to increase it by what that, what's what's the total number? I want to make the, the new number, um, redu reduce it by 5,000 rather than 7,500. <coughs> okay. So reduce it by 5,000. Okay. So that's $2,500. Yep. No, no. 
reduce it by the reduction is five thousand dollars is the reduction okay five five yeah the new number would be five thousand okay. dollars oh so point of information or clarification i'm confused you're talking about a cut or increasing it and what's the final bottom line bottom a reduction of five thousand dollars understood thank you yes Roll call. The new number would be 15 to 10. Department 140, IT technology overtime, and the proposed reduction in the amount of $5,000. Councilor Janino. Yes. Yes, Councilor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councilor Morbido. No. No? Councilor Visconti. Yes. Yes, Councilor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, Com Council President Keefe? Yes. Yes, and Chairman Powers? Yes. Yes, this cut uh, receives a favorable recommendation. Next, uh, next department is Department 182, Strategic, strategic Planning and Economic Development, Deputy Director, 20,137. Where's that? Can somebody repeat that again? Where we are? 182. Strategy planning and economic. De Deputy mm -hmm. Director, 20,137,000. No, wait a minute. 2,137. 20, 20,100. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20,000. I'm sorry. Didn't we, didn't we skip one? No, Director, I don't. Director yes. of Finance. Director of Finance was taking, I'm sorry, Director of Finance, uh, Councilman Novoselsky, was taking um, out of the, the cut due to the fact that, um, number one, um, I wasn't aware of the fact that she is currently being paid as the treasurer. That I, I know. Uh, and the fact of the matter is we can't afford to lose the treasurer, and nor would I want that to happen. Um, and uh, that is a, uh, so the fact that she is currently a, the treasurer in getting paid that, the reduction, um, the increase in her salary is uh, the standard increase. Okay, thank you very much. You didn't understand that was- <laughs> I apologize for person, not explaining that. One person you don't want to lose. No. No, and we won't. Uh, 182, Strategic Planning and Economic, Deputy Director, 20,137. Any questions from anybody? I do. I Can I just say, you know, part of doing a budget, uh, as Ms. Kay has mentioned before, is forecasting planning into the future, um, understanding which department heads may eventually retire or which department uh, heads uh, may need to be replaced. Um, this is a position a, um, that we're gonna cut with potentially this person fitting into a role of um, a, that higher position. So I, I it's cannot- It's not a position that we're cutting. Council but it's a dollar a month. You're going to expect someone to take over a role. You're going to expect someone to take over a role for a lesser amount. And part of it would be fiscally irresponsible of us to get rid of this line item because now we're going to be, have a female take over a, me, a role that is now occupied by a man making $20,000 less. So that's something we gotta be careful about. 
Well, I'm all for equality, so that's something I will not vote for. Okay. That's Mr. Fine. Chairman? With all due respect, the criteria was set up in such a way that we're not looking at women or men. This is a this is a increase at uh, a pandemic, and that's my position on it. And Me too. Yeah. Thing. Mr. Chairman, I Council Novoselsky, wish to speak. Take your point, Councilor. To you, to uh, Council Visconti, where did the twenty thousand one thirty-seven come from that you're that, reducing? That's off the. That's off of the uh, the base. The twenty twenty base. base. Her the original base where she the is now. Base. Yes. The base was ninety thousand. No, that's not. The, no, that's, that's the, the twenty. Base. That's the two twenty twenty one base. The twenty twenty <laughs> base comes off of that. Uh, all right, is added on to. Uh, added on to the, that. Uh, it just seems a little drastic, you know, I, and I know the committee can vote what they want, and we still have a right to uh, make changes when we come to the council, the regular full council. But I think that's extreme for a position that's being Absolutely. moved up and increased. Uh, you know, I just don't think it should be good. Uh, it's 76,000 for, for a deputy director. Mr. Chairman, and um, if I may speak, Mr. Chairman, Patrick Keefe. And I, I don't, I, I understand that we're, this is going to get to, this is getting a little long, but I did want to mention that I know that we have, we have, uh, we're looking at this in a blind uh, base system, but I think it would be naive for us to not realize that we have to do our homework and see what we're actually voting on. So I, I, I do agree with Council Morbid, and I don't think anyone on this council is doing anything wrong, but we, we can't, we can't ignore what's behind uh, the sheets, I should say. So it's it's important that we do we are aware of how we're voting, um, because it could it could be perceived in that way. So um, regardless of that, I, I I've said this from the get go. If a person is doing more, taking on a greater responsibility, I'm looking over to the right screen. There's a there's a person, uh, David Callahan. He's going to be the chief of police. He's going to be taking on a new role in the city. There's no, we were, he would be expected to take on. A higher payment with that new role. And I think that that goes for the same as a person in whether they're in finance or if they're in economic development or wherever it may be. I don't think the chief would be expected to take the same pay as a sergeant taking on the role as a chief. So then just to use that as an example. But anyway. well, that argument was made the other night. I agree with the argument. It's not the same. The chief of police is not the same as anybody else in the city. So that argument was tried on Friday at field. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, Chairman. Mr. Councilor, Councilor Serino, you've had your hand up. Yes, and you thank haven't you. said a word yet. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor. I, I appreciate it. Um, to Councilor, through you to Councilor Morabito's point, um, you know, if, if the, the person right now, we're essentially forecasting that that person will eventually one day take over the role of the chief of economic development, but that person is not the chief of economic development at this time. So why wouldn't we, when the chief of economic development retires, why then wouldn't she get a bump at that point? Not Council Serino, not, because not part of being beginning. a budget is... Councilor, Councilor Morabito, you speak to the chair, please. Mr. Chairman. Through you to Council Serino, talk to your budget directors. You forecast in advance every project. You get the weather forecast for this week. When? Last week. You you get the fo everything's forecasted in the in the past. So so for instance, you need to forecast someone's pay. So if it's anticipated, okay, you need to include it in the budget because. You don't want a surprise factor in the budget. No point one likes surprise factor. Let me point, give you an example. Point, For instance, point a pandemic. What's going on? That's a surprise factor. If they the problem, wait, I, I have the floor. I, I never interrupt anyone. This is my time. This is my moment. This is my time. Let me speak, please. My meeting. Councilor Rotundo. The issue that you're trying to make, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, through you, is a moot issue because you're removing one, one, one position for another. That that is budgeted for that forecasted year. 
So no matter how you try to rationalize it, that person, once she bumps up, will automatically get that, will automatically get that pay because it was forecasted for the following year, as you just pointed out. It changes nothing. I now, didn't even know this person was a woman, to be quite honest with you. Until you, until right, you but keep in mind, now someone has to fill their position. So that's Mr. why you have to ask the job. So that's a variable. You don't know that. No, it's, that's why we have that. That's why you have. Are you saying you're going to cut that Mr. position? Mr. Chair, may I? Mr. Chair, can you are control you this position please? next year? Here we go. May I speak? May I? Point of information. To to you to uh through you to council mara beetle okay just so we are clear okay it is the same exact thing as the treasurer that left and all of a sudden the assistant the treasurer that left the took road. the pay of the tre the assistant treasurer took the pay of the treasurer and then the person it was forecasted in the budget fiscal year 19 and 20 look at it do your research just like all of this stuff. wait 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 hold on wait, I want everyone look on everyone. now oh, i am wow. going to speak because wow. no one's going to silence me you can you, you can't throw me out because we're not in the council chamber so we're on zoom but what i'm going to say wow. is you guys should have done your homework when you told me there was no union cuts that we were voting on and you were wrong so I am not going to take your word lightly. So I'm going to okay. vote no, and we can continue with the roll call. You can do whatever. Okay. You, you are entitled. Call, call the roll. Call the roll, please. Point of information. What are we calling the roll on? I am so confused by all the back and forth and the lack of organization in this meeting right now that I don't even know what oh, we're going on. Joanne, you might really need right to now, clarify huh? what's happening because this is deputy yeah. director of strategic and economic development. A reduction of twenty thousand one thirty-seven. Councilor Gino. Yes. Yes, Councilor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councilor Morabito. No. No, Councilor Visconti. Yes. Yes, Councilor Zambudo. He's muted. Not there. He's muted. He's not there. He's not there. Yeah, I said yes. I'm sorry. I think I was muted. Yes. My vote. Council President Keefe? No. No. And Chairman Powers? No. No. This cut passes with a favorable recommendation. The program coordinator. Uh, for the strategic planning, have been cut. this is insane. Planning, uh, strategic planning and economic, the program coordinator, as uh, Councillor Marabi did say, that is a union position. I made the mistake, I didn't see it. Um, so that has been removed. Um, I'm human, I made a mistake. My apologies. Uh, line item 241 municipal inspection. Building General Counsel, a uh, reduction of $11,750. Any counselors comment? Mr. Chairman, Councilor Novoselsky. Councilor Novoselsky. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this, you know, this basically is a new position uh, in inspectional services, uh, the Building and General Counsel. But I just can't see uh, the number, that bottom line number, uh, 104057, to be higher than the other deputy uh, assistant city solicitor. And uh, I just think they should be the same pay. And um, that's what the re reduction should go down to. Um, I'm just trying to see what the number is for the city solicitor, the deputy. <coughs> city solicitor, I'm trying to find it. The city solicitor? Yeah. Is the city solicitor's pay, uh, his base salary is one 
16. Uh, the assistant soli uh, city solicitor is 102941 is the base. Yeah, I would like, personally, I would like to see those two equal. Uh, no, no. This, this is. Uh, uh, to, uh, point of information. Um, um, Get your point, sir. Um, Councilor Novoselsky, the building council, their uh, their salary. Her her uh, that person's salary is uh, based at one sixteen oh six three, right? Yeah. Well, the base is one oh four oh five oh five seven is the base. An increase from ninety one five four four. So, if you are you looking to increase her base to one hundred two, uh, is that your recommendation to the assistant? You're, you're muted. You're mute. No, my my recommendation, uh, suggestion would be to reduce the one hundred four zero five seven down to the one hundred two number of the other person. Make them the same. You you want to reduce the one oh her uh, uh, the general building general council to the assistant solicitor salary base salary is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Mr. Chairman, state your uh, point. If I may make a quick point of information, this is one position um, where I do feel like the person has been underpaid. And I also know that the 40U violations alone that this department has brought in would fund this position and then some. So I do just want to make that point to this um, line item. It's an excellent point. You're 100% right. And that Mr. was I, I did. good. Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, that's why I wanted to just clarify. Okay, so so the we are. I'm sorry, Mr. President. My apologies. No, I just wanted to. I, I was under the impression some of that was paid out of the um, the uh, safe oh, housing task force money. Okay, so may may I make a point, please, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman? Make your point, sir. And. Uh, through you, Mr. Uh, Chairman, to uh, Councilor Janino uh, and the President, correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm not mistaken, uh, this particular person has has actually recouped close to $100,000 for the city, $80,000 in unpaid uh, fees. You are correct. Exact. So at that, you, you, you know, it's it, it's practically paying for itself. So. Just consider that. And I, you know, I'm, I think with all of the, the way the city's growing, okay, and with all of the violations that we encumber every day in this city, I think it's important that we have a person like that with that capability uh, right in that office to uh, manage those, uh, help manage those complaints that are coming in and uh, make sure that it's done in a legal manner. Councilor McKenna, you had your hand up? I don't know. No, I didn't have my hand up. Well, my computer is up on the screen. That's why every everything is crazy tonight. So why did the screen go? Which screen? Councilor Novoselsky, did you do that? Do what? Blank that screen out? No. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. We're now we're now on the uh, speaking of the uh, position of attorney uh, in the uh,
Mr. Mr. Chairman, if I may, so the is, is there a cut reduction proposed on that? To you, to Council Visconti. Uh, yes, I, I I thought I I I stated that. It, did I not? General uh, municipal inspections, building general council, a reduction of eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so you take you actually reduce taking out the education and longevity. No, I'm not. No. So you're reducing no. the base. You reducing I'm, the I base. Was, it's it's a reduction of the base. So the, from the one hundred four one five seven. Right? There's of also the, a two percent in there too. There's also a two percent. So what's the new base number? Anybody, anybody figuring that out with the new base? Yeah, I have it. That I, I have it. That's from the homework I did. Twenty twenty base number was ninety one five forty four. The twenty one base was ninety one uh, five forty four. Yeah, correct. Okay. So her bottom line new salary will be one oh four three twelve? Yes. Okay. And can I ask what's her original right now? Is it one oh two? No, it's 91,544. And anybody know what the difference is for that? Yeah, 11,750. There's, there's educational, there's educational, and then there's longevity as right. well that is included. And a 2% uh, increase. And a 2% increase. And if somebody has a recommendation for something other, that that's that's fine as well. These are only my suggestions. Roll call, I guess. Call the roll. Madam Clerk, call the roll, please. Yep. Department two forty one, municipal inspections, page two dash ninety eight, building general council. Proposed reduction in the amount of eleven thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Councilor Janino. Yes. Yes. Councilor McKenna. No. No. Councilor Morbido. No. No. Councilor Visconti. Yes. Yes. Councilor Zambudo. Yes. Yes. Councilor Keefe. No. No. Councilor Powers. No. No. That cut fails. That proposed cut fails. Line item 420, Department of Public Works, Chief of Infrastructure, Chief of Infrastructure, a reduction of 12,008. Mr. 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 Conti, where is that, what line again? Line item 420, Department 420, Department of Public Works, Chief of Infrastructure. Chief of Infrastructure is the title, a reduction of 12,008. Mr. Chairman, Councilor Novoselsky wishing to speak. Councilor Novoselsky. Thank you. Um, and Councilor, wh where did that number come from, that 12008? 
the, the, the majority of these numbers came from the previous uh, salary, okay, with the increase in um, the 2% as well as uh, any um, uh, other longevities that were in the previous years uh, were transferred over to the, uh, the new fiscal year. So that's only for this particular line item at 75. That line item, that line item in the budget says, uh, I believe it's a, a seventy-five thousand uh, dollar line item. Well, half, half of his money is coming out of uh, enterprise. Half of his, yes, half of his money comes from the water, and the other half comes from the parks. DPW. That's this. That's this. Is that this money here from the parks, right? Say that again. Does this money come from the parks? This seventy. This one, I believe, is coming from uh, DPW. Yes, this is coming from the DPW. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Council Rotundo. This this is historically the way it's always been funded: half of the enterprise fund, half of the uh, DPW fund. Uh, we can take out from either side. Uh, but I believe it's probably the safest to go with the DPW side if that's where we're taking it out of. Can I make a comment? Rick? Uh, just to um, give some clarification, this is a, a, a one of the new positions uh, that would elevate Don Charamella to the... Um, position of chief and um, we split it between water and sewer and DPW. However, we are contemplating using $75,000 of our info and infiltration uh, funds in the special revenue account. So theoretically, this is a savings of $50,000 to the budget, not an increase of $25,000. So I just thought that was this, this is a new position. We've got... Uh... Joe Maglioni and Martelli on the water and sewer side. We've got Joe Lake and uh, Paul Argenzio handling the DPW side. And he's overseeing everybody? Yes, and the engineering department as well. Yeah, it, it's, it, well, I mean, Tom Tramanova did that job too. I remember the price for that. I mean, this is just, is he a licensed uh, engineer, by the way? Uh, that I don't have the answer to. I just, yeah, blue... I, 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 I'm not sure if I believe he's a licensed he's... engineer. <laughs> I, I believe just, we can stamp, but I'm not 100% sure. The, the point is, we, we should know that. I mean, that's important thing if we're going to do that. Um, I, I, I know he's great with archi architectural drawings. I've seen his work down at the uh, uh, St. Mary. So, you know, but uh, so you're talking about taking the money out of the I&I &I fund. I, I, yeah, I just wanted to make it clear to the council that as part of building the budget and trying to find ways to, to, to keep the costs low, we, we have an I&I &I fund. And uh, as you all know, Donnie uh, spends a ton of his time in the ditches and in the in infiltration. So um, we are using $25,000 from that special revenue account, which would actually make this a $50,000 saving. So I want to make sure everyone was aware of that. Thank you. Can, can any other counselors? Mr. Chair, uh, through you to uh, Mr. Viscay, can you say that one more time? I'm sorry. Can you explain that? My apologies. I, I yeah, yeah. yeah I, I didn't I explain it. We have, um, um, we have a, an inflow and infiltration account that um, is funded by new development in the city when they're putting new development up. They're required to pay a fee for storage inflow and infiltration. Um, and, and those monies are des designated for those purposes. Um, and we are using $75,000 of that to fund this position at this point. Okay. Mr. Viscay, that's the, that's the fund that's uh, uh, fed uh, through the, uh, depending on the number of bedrooms in the unit? That's the, uh, funded through um, the planning uh, department through Frank Stringy. I guess it's a fund, uh, a fee that's been set up for um, 
many years for when these uh, new developments come in and they yeah. have an adverse effect on our drainage and uh, yeah. info. So um, there was uh, an ability to use some of those funds to offset some of the costs. And I just wanted to make sure everyone was aware that we were contemplating using that, which would save us $50,000 in fiscal year 2021. Any other councils? Council Ganasso, I know you had your hand up and you- Oh, I, I did, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to- uh remind my colleagues that uh, Lieutenant Callahan will be submitting his retirement papers before we finish this meeting. So I think it's in order that we uh, proceed as we normally do. Uh, we're asking whether people have proper credentials and that's all too late for that. We have a budget before it. I'm sure the mayor has checked the credentials and he has a, a very adequate staff who could review the credentials of all people who are on this budget. So I ask that we proceed. We're already a half an hour into everybody else's meeting. And you've already, Mr. Chairman, I might add, did a very wonderful job, you and your committee, and the hours put into it. Right now, I observed for the last 45 minutes, just repeating things that uh, really were already gone over, but only said in a different way. So I just think we should proceed with the vote and, and get this on to the committee of the whole and move the meeting along. Well, Thank you, Mr. Well, let's vote the line items. Just, just We're almost there now. We're almost there now. We're almost there now. Okay. Are we doing a roll call? Roll the roll, please. Department 420, Department of Public Works, Chief of Infrastructure, page 2-108, Chief of In Infrastructure line item, Proposed reduction in the amount of twelve thousand eight dollars. Councilor Gino. Yes. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yes. Voting yes. Councilor McKenna. No. No. Councilor Morbido. No. No. Councilor Councilor Vis Visconti. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Councilor Zambudo. Yes. Yes. Council President Keith. No. No. Councilor Powers. No. No. That cut fails. Line item 434, Department of Public Works, Water Sewer, Superintendent, 12,008. Oh. Um. Any questions? This is the superintendent? Yeah, no. it's the other half of this page. The other half of this page. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here, but Mr. Mr. Chairman, Councilor Novoselsky. Um, I know the last cut failed uh, for his other half of his position. I hope this half fails also. Because now you're, you're shooting at him a double, double way, double whammy. Uh, and uh, I just hope that uh, you don't uh, approve this. Oh. Cut for this particular salary. Thank you. I see what I did. Call the roll. Roll call on the proposed cut, the amount of $12,008 from the DPW Water and Sewer Superintendent line item on page 4 8. Councilor Janino. Yes. Yes. Councilor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councilor Morbido. No. No, Councilor Visconti. Uh, yes. Yes, Councilor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, Councilor Council President Keefe. No. No, and Chairman Powers. No. Now this cut passes with a favorable recommendation. Madam Clerk. Yes. May I change my vote, please, to uh, the Department of Public Works, or is this too late? For the chief in chief infrastructure or yes. water and sewer? Yes. So the no, the chief chief infrastructure. That was already voted. That was already voted on. Okay, I can't so I can't vote no on changes. that. Okay. But you you could do anything you want in the regular council meeting. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, line item 522, Public Health Department, Chief Health and Human Services, a reduction of 21162. Call the roll, please, unless there's questions. Roll call, Councilor Giannino? Yes. Yes, Councilor McKenna? Yes. Yes, Councilor Morbido? No. No, Councilor Visconti? Yes. Yes, Councilor Zambudo? Yes. Yes, Council President Keefe? No. No, Chairman Powers? No. No, the cut passes with a favorable recommendation. Line item 522-Public uh, Health Director of Outreach, a reduction of 9866. Well, we're 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 call on that proposed cut, Councilor Gino. That's a union position as well. Uh, may Before I, we call the roll, can we get clarification yeah, on that? Because I, I was told it was not a union position. May I, uh, may, may I get, uh, Mr. Chair? Go ahead. You through, to, through you to Council Marabito, the uh, Director of Outreach is not in Unit A as a title, okay? Uh, the, it is correct that she is... The, the person is currently a union member. That position is currently not in the contract as no, so, a union. So point of information. I, I, maybe Mr. I missed that too. Mr. Biscay, were you being disingenuous when you emailed me and told me that was a union position? I don't know if disingenuous would be the correct word, Counselor, but- uh, To me it is. Just like Counselor Visconti said, that position is currently a unit A union position and i don't know that there was any intention on removing that position from the union so i don't is think it exact correct answer as it is today that's a unit a unit position union position and, and the the what is the title of that in unit a mr Biscay? because i didn't see the, the healthy community initiatives and I'm, I'm just trying to figure that out that's I understand, and I'm trying to answer it. So she's Absolutely. the initiatives director as of today. As of Wednesday, depending on how the vote goes, that job may not exist if it's voted down. I don't know what that means, but the job of Healthy Communities Initiatives Director has um, been rolled into the health department. So it is some. And can I just say, I did forward this information to two of my colleagues on the council who were handling the cuts. So whether it was ignored or just taken lightly, I'm not sure, but this was, and I was waiting for a call back since 9.30 or 10 a.m. and I haven't received any information. Well, I, again- Your yeah. information, we called you back three times. Roll call. Wait, so wait a minute, time me. out. Time out, I want clarity here. I'm trying Mr. To Chairman, can I have the floor? You have the floor, yes. I want chairman. I, I want clarity here. The, the the I don't want to say that anybody's double speaking here, but the position is currently not in the union by this title. So you know, I don't want to get into semantics, but it's not a union position by that title in unit A at this point. Is, am I correct? I, I guess my question is through you, Mr. Chairman, I don't know who to believe. Do I believe Richard Biscay, the chief financial officer? Do I believe my colleague on the council? There's a lot of back and forth and it shouldn't be like that. So where do I get my answer? I, I actually believe Ms. That Ms. Both, I, I actually believe both councilors Visconti and I had the same exact answer in that today, that position is a unit A union position. Now that position has been rolled into health and a new position has been uh, proposed to the council. That has not been determined whether that is in the union or out of the union, but there's no point in negotiating it either way if it's voted down. Okay. So it's really in limbo. Uh, it, so there's no so straight correct Mr. Answer. Mr. Chairman, <laughs> through you to uh, Councilor uh, Marbido, just for clarification. <laughs> 
Yeah. If I can, I might be able to help you. Um, and I'm not saying this to be fortuitous or anything like that, but is is this uh, the the director of outreach we're talking about? Correct. Yes. That I can tell yes. you, I can tell you from last year's budget that in fact that is a union position. It is a union position. Okay, which would mean that 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 we that 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 position last year and, part of, and also part of her other duties from last year okay. were paid through a uh, 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 what do you call it a uh, grant okay yeah. and and that, so that it, said, it, it is so, even, it, it is a union position so They're help correct. me understand this uh, mr biscay is that the increase of that position if it is in fact a union union position going forward number one have to be negotiated uh, under the collective bargaining agreement, okay, if that is the case. Number two, that increase right now is increasing. I think it's about 11, 13, uh, 12. 9,866 uh, dollars. Uh, from, from the previous year, which would lead me to believe that it's not a union position going forward. Uh, because of the fact of the increase, I, I, I'm... I'm I, 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 I think I, once she assumes other duties, it, they're going to change her position. Does that sound about right, Rich? Yeah, the question's fair. And in, um, in, in, well, the way I'd explain it is that once the, the council votes and uh, the budget is finalized, we would have to talk to Unit A and talk about the changes. And at that point, I guess there would be a determination on whether that position is a Unit A management position that should be in the union or if that comes out so a lot of this is a bit premeditated based upon the results of the vote so there's no i guess there's no correct answer not that that's a great answer but right now she's a union position in two days she may or may not be depending on how the vote goes for the budget and how the contract negotiations go with you today now we're in that that's now we're in agreement i i i appreciate the uh the clarification and that's exactly what I, 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 um, I thought, okay. So, um, thank you for that. So if we can go back to that public health director of outreach, a reduction of 9866. Can we have a roll call on it? Madam chair. Yes. I mean, madam sec, uh, clerk. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Director of Outreach Reduction, the amount of 9,866. Councilor Janino. No. No. Councilor McKenna. Wait. Madam Clark, yes. is this to vote for the cut or against the cut? This is Probably for the cut. cut. Yes. Sorry. The, okay. I'm sorry. Please clarify. It, on the cut, yes or no? On the cut, Probably yes. Cut. Yes. Cut, yes. Councilor McKenna? Yes. Yes. Councilor Morbido. Councilman Morabito. No. No. Voting no. Councilor Visconti? Yes. Yes. Councilor Zambudo? Yes. Yes. Councilor Keefe? No. No. And Chairman Powers? Yes. Yes. That cut passes with a favorable recommendation. Uh, Mr. Chairman, may I speak? Certainly, Mr. President. And I, Paul, I'm going to make it quick. We're, we're just we're really pressing up on time. We've already gone past the appointment subcommittee. Now we're falling into uh, general session. And on top I, of it, we have a, a lot of a participants. Um, and participants, if you're listening, if you do not have a full name, um, that uh, if there's uh, nicknames, we're not going to be uh, taking any conversation from you. So if you're a participant, uh, we're going to be vet vetting the names. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, that, that point of personal privilege. I would hope that the uh, the usage of name and address like we do at the council meeting is upheld. Of course. There will be no anonymous participants. And, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, <laughs> at this time, I have removed the library um, cuts um, from the budget. Um, due to the fact that that is the same as uh, the
the treasurer's position and uh, the part time was left there as well to make sure and ensure that we don't lose any of the funding um, um, from the state. Um, so that has been uh, removed as well. Thank you very much. I, I, am, I am done, I guess. Okay. Are there any other councils that want to speak? I think we got to get to the next meeting. I think we've taken up enough time. I just, I just want to, I just want to make a statement for the general public. Okay. Go right ahead. We are no longer a city of forty-five thousand as we were a decade or two ago. We're a city now that's probably close to sixty-five thousand or more. And I know that the the mayor is submitting this budget. I mean, there are a lot of things in there that we questioned. We felt we felt may probably shouldn't have been there. The money was high or something. We're trying to see the mayor and the city council along with them are trying to set up a city that can address the, the, the growth of this city down the road. So uh, I would suggest in the future that uh, any uh, other positions that may be changing uh, where people may be uh, upgrading or having added responsibilities or something. I, I would hope that uh, in the future, uh, the mayor and the council would work together on this and, uh, and, and share uh, our thoughts in, in a, a joint meeting from time to time. Thank you very much. And, uh, that concludes the uh, meeting of the Ways and Means Committee on June 29, 2020. <laughs> Can we have a recess? I just concluded the meeting. We don't. Yeah, I know, Mr. P Mr. President. Can we have a recess? Uh, yes, like it's not. It's not my meeting. You're in between no, meetings. I'm sorry, Arthur. Chairman Chairman Zambudo. Zambudo's up next. Oh, oh okay. I apologize. I thought I was up next. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>